guys, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and as the resident Google fangirl here at SourceFed, I'm here to give you the roundup of the info spewed out at Google I.O.'s keynote today. Google I.O. is a developers conference once per year for anything and everything Google. Let's just jump right in. They have tons of new things for developers to use when designing apps that brought great applause. I mean, highlights for how that translates to you as the user is that apps can now find your location using way less battery, less than 1% battery per hour. And apps can detect if you are walking, driving, or bicycling without even using GPS. Yes. New Google Play Store apps now will access overall Google leaderboards, achievements, and cloud save, and even offer cross-platform gaming experiences. Although the live demo of this bombed hardcore, as sometimes happens at these conferences. Whoops. And for you budding app developers out there, Android Studio is now easier to use than ever, with the ability to preview strings, images, and even have a live view for edit. The developer's console now has its own translation services too, so your favorite app may soon be available in other languages. One of the biggest announcements made today was Google Play Music All Access. All Access costs $9.99 per month with a free 30-day trial, and it launches today here in the US. But it's only $7.99 per month if you get it before June 30th. All Access could give Spotify a real run for its money. All Access lets you explore new music, launch a playlist based on a song you like, even see the order of the playlist ahead of time so that you can remove those songs you aren't quite so interested in hearing. You can also take any song you hear and add it to your own library of music automatically, thus blending your own library of music with the All Access library. Another big announcement today was that Google will sell an actual device via the Play Store. That's right, an actual phone. It's a Galaxy S4, but with a Nexus Android experience. It runs on either AT&T or T-Mobile, it has LTE, 16 gigabytes of storage, it's completely bootloader unlocked, Yay! and it gets system updates from Google immediately. So everyone was cheering and going crazy at the conference until they announced the $649 price tag. Ooh. I mean, we know that's what phones really cost, but still. They also told us about all the improvements going on behind the scenes when it comes to Chrome, mainly speeding up their JavaScript, using different file types for images, GIFs, and videos that will be much smaller files, thus loading faster and making your internet browsing faster. They announced that YouTube will actually be adopting this video file type later in the year, so your YouTube experience will be faster too. Woohoo! One thing that really surprised me was that Google showed off mobile games, the same mobile game being played across not only multiple devices, but multiple OS's as well. Wait, wait, wait. Google and Apple devices working together? Like they're playing nice? Are you kidding me? Congrats, Google, on rising above the bullshit and making new tech that benefits everyone. Now there's so much more that I want to cover in depth with you, but we just don't have the time. So really quickly, there's also cool new classroom applications, Google Plus Hangouts, it's a new app, photo experiences, and much more advanced Google Voice integrated search features. Also, Google Maps is getting a major overhaul with a floating search box and tons more. Make sure you check out our blog if you want more specific details on all the new Googleness. So what are you most looking forward to from this year's Google tech explosion? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click this annotation or go to sourcefed.com to see all of our newsy bloggy stuff, check out our other daily videos. My name is Trisha Hirschberger and I'm just so excited for this year. Good job, Google.